get this money from? Money. Innovation family, what is up? How you guys doing today? It's uh, me, Brandon, your friend, your neighbor, your host, back with another video for Innovation Property Atlanta. Just here talking about this tarot card game, rental card game, side hustles, ways you all can make, save money, and come together. Um, before we jump to today's uh, video, guys, do me a favor and do, and do me a, a favor and hit that uh, notification button, that subscribe button, that uh, like button, so you guys are staying on to staying on top of my new videos I put out. Even though I haven't put out a video in quite some time. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things as I had a lot going on with the fleet, also with some uh, other stuff I'm working on. But um, let's jump to today's uh, video, guys. So just want to give you guys an update of what's going on with me as far as my fleet, the Turo fleet, um, kind of the next steps. A lot going on in the Turo world, rental car world. Um, with me personally, just recently sold two cars. I uh, sold the 2019 blue uh, Dodge Challenger V6 uh, blacktop. I also sold the red uh, Camaro Corvette, not Corvette, red Camaro uh, convertible recently also. So those, both those cars last week, uh, looking to sell two more vehicles, the gray Camaro convertible, and also looking to sell the, um, the Porsche Panamera and the Mercedes E300. So I'm looking to sell about five cars total uh, to cut back on my expenses as far as the fleet and possibly looking to doing um, skin some new inventory new cars uh, maybe some SUVs maybe maybe like an economy car or a car make do well for the spring summertime um, so overall April was a good month my best month to date um, probably in the last year year and a half is a solid April looking to do uh, similar numbers in May when it comes to revenue so I'm just looking really being mindful on a day-to-day -day basis uh, as far as my inventory how I control what's coming in and out as far as expenses and how much I'm uh, listing my vehicles for, uh, for on a day-to-day -day basis, trying to get that high day rate as much as possible, um, and you know keep customers still at, at um, still interested in renting my vehicles, so it doesn't, doesn't be too overpriced. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm not really focused on a high utilization. Like I'm not a big fan of my cars going out for 25, 30 days unless it's a certain make and model. Because a lot of my cars are you know European, foreign, or have high maintenance, like the Range Rover. So you don't want your cars to have to go out, but so many days, keep track of all that stuff. It goes out every day. You're gonna spend way more money on maintenance and break a, break a fix issues. So I'm looking to rent my cars out still 10 to 15 days a month uh, for most of my vehicles, like the Jaguar, the Mustangs, things like that. That can be repaired pretty pretty easy. Uh, brake pads, tires, I don't mind doing those. Um, but 15, 15 days is my max. So right now, with me being down, well, me selling two cars, I now have about 13, 13 cars in the fleet. Looking to get down to 10 total. See how we manage out with those cars, and I, my decision is all it's all based off of metrics and my numbers and how I'm doing as far as my revenue on a month-to-month -month basis. So I look at my cars over the last year, year and a half, two years to see which one was, were the best uh, selling selling vehicles as far as uh, running out on a month-to-month -month basis and the revenue. And that's how I came to the, my consensus as far as what cars I want to get rid of and maybe what car I want to buy here in the short future to replace those vehicles. So. I know I haven't done a lot of these uh, long form videos in a while as far as giving you guys updates on what's, what's going on with me. Uh, I've been doing a lot more reaction videos, day in the life, so you guys can see what goes into running the Turo fleet and car rental fleet. Another quick update is going to be around Lula. From my understanding, Lula, if you guys are using them for your commercial insurance or using them for your insurance for when, you, when you're uh, renting vehicles on Turo and you're, you're uh, letting them sit off the platform, you can use Lula for off the platform uh, um, off, off the platform time and then when you switch back to Turo you use Turo's insurance but they charge 80, bu 80 bucks a car for where cars are just sitting off the Turo platform waiting to be rented so from my understanding Lula is going to be going out of business in the month mid-May time frame so I got to find a new insurance company to insure those vehicles that I'm going to uh, still rent out on Turo um, the ones I have at Lula right now so that's going to be a big change I might have to look into going back with the big insurance company like an Allstate or a State Farm or Progressive unfortunately uh, so you guys have any recommendations as far as what you guys are using for your commercial insurance for off um, off Turo uh, cars? Let me know because I'm not going to be doing uh, private as far as um, uh, that much you know, like I, like I was doing before the last year. I'm doing mostly just Turo right now. Private has its pros and cons. There'll be a different video for about uh, for for that topic. 
But right now I'm just focusing on Turo. So we've been having a lot of theft, a lot of issues here in the Atlanta area. And private just comes with a lot of complications if you're not doing it right and have your insurance in place and having money put to the side for issues that come up with these vehicles. So uh, that's my update, guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in for this video. Um, like I guess I'm going to try to do more long form videos. Definitely going to be doing more reaction videos, but I just want to stop by and give you guys an update what's going on with me. Uh, you guys have a good rest of your day. Remember, leave any comments, any questions in the, in the comment section so we can banter, go back and forth. Um, and then, we'll, as always, we'll go from there. So, you guys have a good rest of your day. We'll talk later. Never been so lucky, I can have it all. Can I simply ask you where you get this money from?